I Know a Shy Fellow Who Swallowed a Cello by Barbara S. Gariel. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a cello. I don't know why he swallowed a cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a harp. Not so sharp to swallow a harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a sax. Hard to relax when you swallow a sax. He swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a fiddle. Hard to twiddle when you swallow a fiddle. He swallowed the fiddle to jam with the sax. He swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a cymbal. Not so nimble to swallow a cymbal. He swallowed the cymbal to jam with the fiddle. He swallowed the fiddle to jam with the sax. He swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed a cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a flute. That was a hoot to swallow a flute. He swallowed the flute to jam with the cymbal. He swallowed the cymbal to jam with the fiddle. He swallowed the fiddle to jam with the sax. He swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed a cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a kazoo. Strange thing to do, to swallow a kazoo. He swallowed the kazoo to jam with the flute. He swallowed the flute to jam with the cymbal. He swallowed the cymbal to jam with the fiddle. He swallowed the fiddle to jam with the sax. He swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a bell, the teeniest, tiniest, petite cascabel. Well, his belly, it wiggled, his belly did shake. It rumbled and tumbled and quivered and quaked. It rocked and it rolled, it swiveled and swelled and all on account of that wee little bell. So, he belched and he burped, he turned shades of yellow. It seemed he was doomed, that very shy fellow. He weaved and he wallowed, he stomped and he yelled. And the next thing he knew, out jingled the bell. Then, 
Out buzzed the kazoo, out tooted the flute, out crashed the cymbal, that noisy galoot. Out flashed the fiddle, out sizzled the sax, out strummed the harp, he played to the max. Well, he bellowed that fellow, that fellow did bellow. And last but not least, out cha cha the cello. The end. If you look through this book, you're going to see a lot of sneaky little things. I think especially second grade, you might notice. They're hidden in here, some gems. For example, in this picture, do you happen to see a treble clef? Or maybe a bass clef? Or maybe both? Exactly! Here's the bass clef. It's a bass clef tree. And over here is a treble clef tree. And if you look in the background, the buildings are actually instruments too. Do you see the bass clef here? There it is, the bass clef. Another thing that you'll notice is that the main character, look at his hair. What does that remind you of? That's the scroll of a violin or a cello. His hair is shaped like a scroll. Here it is again, the scroll. If you look at the cover, um, you'll see when he swallows the cello, the scroll matches because then it makes the whole cello, his whole body look like a cello. All right, hope you enjoyed it. If you saw any other interesting things, I would love to hear about it.